guys welcome back to the channel if you've watched my previous video oh by the way if you haven't yet please do i will link it up here for easy access so if you've watched my previous video you'd know that we recently visited singapore well the main purpose of travel was to let my little daughter enjoy her birthday week i also did squeeze in a little shopping on the side to me traveling is always an opportunity to shop for perfumes particularly ones that are not available here in the Philippines and to check out local stores and boutiques and shops that sell fragrances. In this video, I will walk you through the places I've been to to shop for perfumes as well as what's in this bag. These are items I've hold from Singapore. So if you're curious to know what items I picked up to add to my collection, then please keep watching. I will start off with a fragrance that I've never heard about before but I've completely fallen in love with and this is from the brand called Runs or Runs um, 1795 and this is called Desiree. While the box uh, looks rather fancy, the aesthetics of the actual bottle, let me show you, is rather simple and looks very vintage perhaps owing to the branding of Rancy as an old family-owned perfume house dating back to the 18th century. Well, I like the whole aesthetics. So anyway, this is the 50ml bottle and all their perfumes come in 50 and 100ml bottle. This brand came to my attention because one of the SAs at the Cosmetics and Perfume section at Changi Terminal 1 Arrival insisted that I at least sniff the best sellers. I got nothing to do, nothing better to do because the hotel check-in wasn't until 3pm so I sniffed them all and um, this is the one I Got. In a Changi Airport cosmetics and perfume shop, all the fragrances have testers out on the shelves. So if you're curious to know, I'm just telling you FYI. I thought I'd mention that because of our COVID situation. Anyway, this fragrance caught my attention and yes, the familiarity hit me once this fragrance started to dry down. Penhaligons Luna is the very first fragrance I can associate this with. This is uh, very, very similar, in fact, um, to Penhaligon's Luna. I dare say about 90% similar, but for a fraction of the price. Luna sells for 300 Singapore dollars for the 30ml bottle, and this is 148 for the 50ml plus discounts from ongoing airport promotions. So this is a steal. This has the same performance as Luna on me as well. This is definitely a warm weather fragrance, signature scent worthy, all occasion, indoors, outdoors, and year-round wear for us here in the tropics. If you ever have the time and the chance to visit Changi Airport, look for this brand. The SAs know. I was told that this is a Changi Airport exclusive and as much as I know they are trying to push sale on this brand, I honestly think this brand is and the fragrances are underrated and a hidden gem. And definitely visit the airport's cosmetics and perfume section. You'll never know what gems you're going to find. And for a lot less at that. Desiree by Runs1795 I highly recommend if you're looking for a more affordable niche quality alternative for Luna by Penhaligans. This right here is the other fragrance I picked up from the airport. Um, I initially thought this to be more for my husband but I definitely enjoy wearing this more than he does. A new release from Ralph Lauren, Polo Earth. This is truly a unisex fragrance. I initially thought this to smell more like a man's aftershave. Citrus, spicy, and green in the opening, but as the florals come in, so does a little sweetness and the dry down. The dry down is totally unisex. This, people say, smells a lot like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. Yes, but the Neroli here has a bit more of a bite to it. It is stronger and more green if that makes sense and is ever so present. This is an outdoorsy type of perfume, one for high humidity and extremely hot weather outside. If you love the likes of Tom Ford Neroli Portofino, Clinique Blue Sky Neroli, the Peaks of the Suns, this you will surely enjoy. This belongs to that citrus, clean, green, a little spicy, fresh, outdoor type fragrance, great for both men and women. 
this next fragrance I was supposed to get a bigger bottle of. I finally decided that I need a bigger bottle of Luna. I've sprayed so much of Luna this year. I really thoroughly enjoyed wearing this so much. So a visit to the Penhaligons Boutique at the shops at Marina Bay is a must. Um, unfortunately, they were out of stock on the 100 ml. So I bought me another 30 ml, which is pricey per ml. I know a total bummer because later on, I learned that Sephora SG carries Penhaligons and there on the shelf are many, many bottles of the 100 ml. Anyway, I was also bummed that the SAs never mentioned Sephora carrying their brand. So, so bummed. But well, I enjoyed looking around the shop. The SAs are quite knowledgeable, but uh, do your research first, I guess, because they will push products they think you might like, especially if you are a noob to the brand. But well, that's part of their job, I guess. Make sure you spray and sniff the fragrance for yourself. Spent almost an hour sniffing around and came out of the store with a buck bottle of Luna, as I've said, in 30ml and a travel atomizer. And this is in the color Dorchester Pink. I forgot how much this costs in Singapore dollars, but this is uh, 25 British pounds and 27 US dollars in the website. I have this in the color Marmalade for changing constants, and this I plan to use for luna over here unlike other fragrance houses where their travel sprays are but shells this is a true refillable atomizer no need to purchase or repurchase refills um for me i think this will make for a great gift for the coming holidays um comes in a presentable upscale looking box as you can see very convenient for gifting while the boutique has all the perfumes you might be looking for, including accompanying body products like lotions, soaps, hair mist, sample sets for you to try, they may not have them in stock or the size that you're looking for may not be available. Sephora, at least the outlet at Ion Orchard, carries Penhaligon's fragrances as well, so you might want to check that as well. In the boutique, the fragrances are pre-sprayed on the test strips, so you smell mostly the dry down, but you can ask for assistance to have the fragrance freshly sprayed on your skin so you can enjoy the top note. We also looked around the Lelabo shop which is beside the Penhaligon's boutique but nothing in there compelled me so nothing from Lelabo. We also visited the Chanel boutique at the shops at Marina Bay to sniff a couple of new arrivals. The Lesso, the Chanel Paris Paris, Gabrielle Le Parfum plus I also checked out the Le Exclusive line particularly 1957 which I am dying to sniff but couldn't seem to get a sample locally. The SA was super nice and very charming. She had a way of making you make up your thoughts about the perfume instead of her pushing sales. I almost, almost bought a bottle just because she was super, super nice. I did not have consent to post her name or a photo, so I can't, but please visit the Chanel Beauty Counter at Shops at Marina Bay. It is located at number B1-132. There might be a line before you can get in, but the SAs are super, super nice. It's really worth your while. We were bringing an impatient, fidgety little girl, and they were really patient with us. And speaking of Sephora, the next three perfume products are from Sephora, all in travel sizes. Fresh Hesperides Grapefruit. So this is a 10ml rollerball, which I will probably decant in a spray bottle. I hate rollerballs. This is your straightforward fresh grapefruit perfume, much like Zara's Vetiver Pomplemousse, but a tad more natural smelling grapefruit. I bought this out of curiosity i saw this to be one of maricel soriano's favorite fragrances and since i love grapefruit it won't hurt to pick up this travel spray next is toy boy from moschino one of my husband's favorites which i definitely spray on me from time to time so i got me a small travel spray to keep i use this to layer mostly if you haven't yet please get your nose on this one men and women alike this is niche quality in a designer perhaps tacky packaging and price range but this is so so good especially for the relatively cooler rainy season we have at the moment next item i picked up is this product from this works uh, sleep plus pillow spray i don't really have a problem initiating sleep yet but on occasions where i'm cold in the middle of sleep for an emergency i find it hard to get back to the sack i figured this will come in handy it says this is a potent 
blend with lavender and chamomile naturally encapsulated to gradually create a soothing and calming atmosphere while you sleep. I haven't put this to test yet, but I will definitely let you know when I do. Sephora to me is one of the best places to try on perfumes whether spraying it in store or picking up a travel spray or sample set or sample size Sephora is my definite go-to We do not have a physical store yet here in the Philippines and the website has little to none Nothing to offer in terms of perfume. So going to Singapore Sephora is a must visit for me to get perfumes But mostly skincare and of course some makeup tester bottles are also out for most perfumes But not all so you may have to ask for assistance to get testers for the most part i've window shopped in essentials and amaris shops uh, known to carry niche fragrances both of these shops are in paragon at orchard road located in the same level level two second floor i think it was and separated only by a restaurant in between should it be hard to locate these two shops Out of the fragrances I've sniffed and sprayed, I walked out of Essentials with these purchases. Maison de la Cie, Chapters 1 and 2, Sample Sets. Maison de la Cie is a local Singaporean niche fragrance house and what better way to sample the fragrances than to buy 
their sample sets. So this retail for 35 Singapore dollars each uh, for three small samples. It is quite pricey, yep, but hoping this is well worth the price tag. One set is called a chapter and holds three samples. Now, I don't know how each of these smell yet. I haven't had the time to sample just yet, but I'm actually really happy that we have homegrown fragrance houses in the ASEAN region. I was told that this particularly sells as a souvenir gift if you're looking for something to gift someone that's uniquely from Singapore. From Amory's, I picked up two items. Vani in San say, I just had to get this one. This is very, very hard to find everywhere, at least where I come from. So when I saw this in store at Amory's, I did not hesitate to get me this 30 ml bottle. I was super late to discover this perfume because by the time I made up my mind to buy a full bottle, Atelier Cologne has pulled out of the US, closed their stores, pulled out their retailers, even Changi Airport is out of stock on full bottles. So I'm super happy to find a bottle at Amaris. This 30 ml retails for 105 Singapore dollars. I haven't opened this yet. As you can see, the plastic is very much sealed. I probably will reserve this for special occasions for now since this is so hard to get. I have a few drops of Vani Insanse in this uh, small spray bottle and you guys this fragrance will definitely blow your mind at least if you like the same fragrances that I do and even if you are not a vanilla perfume lover I feel that you'd at least be intrigued by this fragrance I can't explain the feeling I had when I first sprayed this on it's a floral vanilla in the opening to me and then this goes on to become a little citrusy a little spicy and then dry and woody and unlike many mainstream vanilla fragrances this doesn't fall flat even after hours of wear. Great for cooler weather and season. The next one I picked up from Amaris is this Acro Discovery Kit. I picked this one up out of curiosity. Paula Bianca, another fragrance reviewer here in YouTube, have talked about this house at some point and got me really interested to try. I haven't sniffed any of the fragrances in here, but I have them all plus this new one that the SA very kindly gifted me. This is their latest release called Ink. Um, expect to see this in a future video. This set contains six 2ml spray samples and retail for 48 Singapore dollars. So if you wish to fulfill your niche perfume fantasy or fantasies, I highly recommend you visit Essentials and Amaris. I think they have a couple more branches in Singapore, which I will probably list down in the description box below. The staff, the SAs are cool for you to have as many chances to spray all the fragrances they have in store. Tester bottles and tester strips are available on display, so you are totally free to look around on your own.
Last item in the bag, and I do really quickly want to share a home perfume product with you, a rediffuser in fact. This I picked up from the souvenir shop at Mandai Wildlife Reserve, specifically the one outside River Wonders. Although it says Changi Airport by Changi Airport, I did not see this anywhere at the airport, at least the shops that I went to. So this is the Changi Scent Reed Diffuser. This is a 50 ml and this retails for 28 Singapore dollars. This will make for a great souvenir gift or as we call it pasalubong to dear friends and family this also comes in essential oil formulation in different sizes there's also body lotion or hand lotion was it i can't remember exactly so it says inspired by the gardens inspired by our gardens orchid tea is the signature scent of changi airport uh, my husband and i gifted this to a handful of friends and family and almost everyone said this was one of the best home scents they've ever received this is also very soothing and my mother now says it puts her to sleep i do not know of any other place you can find this even the visitor center or orchard do not carry this product if you have any idea where else in singapore we can get this then please do share I would like to quickly show you the free samples we got from the Louis Vuitton shop. We met the sweetest SA at the Louis Vuitton shop in Takashimaya and she very kindly gave me and my husband a ton. And I mean a ton of samples to enjoy. More than what we deserve actually. So I did not get consent to mention her name or show a photo so I can't but make sure to visit the Louis Vuitton outlet at Takashimaya in Orchard Road next time you are in Singapore. You are likely going to meet her there. To be honest, I like the Takashimaya outlet boutique better than the Louis Vuitton Island at Marina Bay. I personally think the island is overrated. To show you what I have, some of this I've already reviewed before. Uh, for example, Apogee and Atraperev. I will make sure to link the video up here and down in the description box should you be interested. I probably will do some other reviews for the fragrances that I was not able to get last time. For cosmetics and perfume needs, I also recommend you visit Tang Beauty Hall at Tang's Plaza at Orchard Road. They have an entire section on the first floor dedicated to cosmetics and perfumes alone. The SAs are also the nicest to say the least. A big shout out to the Christian Louboutin SAs and the ones at the True Sardi counter at Tang's. They are the nicest when we were there. Other places where you can get perfumes are the perfume shops at Lucky Plaza, the perfume shops at Chinatown. I personally cannot recommend them just yet. The main reason being I cannot vouch for authenticity and I also never bought a bottle myself from them during this trip or before when I was still living in Singapore. The one place I plan to visit but didn't have time to go is Mustafa Center at Little India. Open 24 hours with a wide range of perfume brands for very reasonable prices. I've been to a couple of times before, never bought fragrances from them though but I know so many people who recommend the shop. I also planned to stop by Centopia at Celoso Beach Walk in Sentosa but I simply did not have the time maybe next time and that is it for today's video you guys i hope you liked today's video and i hope this was helpful somehow especially if you're visiting singapore soon and are want to check out perfume stores like myself on top of all the sightseeing Thank you all so much for making it this far and before you leave this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, check to see if you're subscribed to the channel and if not, please consider subscribing to the channel if you'd love this type of content. Turn on notification by hitting the bell icon so you'd be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Don't forget to comment your thoughts down below as well. Take care y'all, smell your absolute best and see you in my next video. Bye!